My name is Mikey Hartman. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel from the IDF. My job in the Israeli army was to build a shooting school. I actually wrote the Israeli doctrine on how to shoot. It's basically the only thing I know how to do. We're here today to talk a little bit about our new products that we have in CA and, and in Hartman. First, we're going to talk about CA. We have a, a new toy that we call the Microroni. Basically, it's a system that you slide in your Glock, 17 or 19, and you now make your handgun a little assault weapon. What it actually does, it increases your accuracy tenfold. Most guys can shoot from about 25 meters in a handgun if they're really good. The same handgun, the same ballistics, without changing anything, you're now going up to 100 meters. This little baby is it's the new uh, generation of the Rani. We've had the Rani for a few years, but now we've come out with the Micro Rani, and the advantages are, are many. One, the stock itself folds. Now I'm able to shoot one-handed, okay? I can shoot in a car. I am now much more compact. I can put it underneath my jacket, VIP protection, and all that as well. On the other side, the, on both sides, we have left and right hand fingers that I can actually rest my finger while I'm holding it. So now I have, I'm, because of the way I'm holding the weapon now, the accuracy increases greatly because the small effects, the small effects of accidental uh, mistaken trigger pull that normally affects your handgun, you don't have here. So you take the exact same handgun, the exact same bullet, the exact same trajectory, and now you're just shooting much farther. We also added on some of our versions a flashlight that we're able to turn that on and we have a pretty strong flashlight on the other side and it's, in, it's built inside of the, of the inside of the Micaroni itself. We also have a trigger guard that protects it so you can't get to the trigger for safety. Latch, uh, latch uh, I don't know how you say it in, in, in Hebrew, it's called Etzer Machlik. I'm not sure how you say it in English, but to let the bolt fly back when the magazine is done with the Glock. You have backup sights and you can also put on the optic out there. The Picatinny rail is aluminum, so it keeps zero, so you go back and right, you can go forward and back. We also have another place for a spare magazine, so you're able to have two different magazines as well inside the site. So I can pull one out and put it in with the other one, so you have two magazines next to each other. And one of the major things that's such, amaz uh, such great about this Micaroni, and the reason we believe that everybody that buys a handgun is gonna buy one of these, is that we are now retailing this at half the price we were doing the Roni. The MSRP on this is 225. That means a map is gonna be under 200. So this is gonna be something that a guy just increases his accuracy and they're able to do things that no one else can do. Little noise, but that's okay. So in any case, um, we really believe this is gonna be what we call a home run. So you're able to, uh, to take your handgun and you don't have to go to the range and practice too much. You just slide it in here and your accuracy in home intruder at the range, wherever, jumps up. And it's all very simple. Now the way we lock it in inside of the handgun is very, very simple. You take the handgun, there's a button over here. You press down the button, you bring this clip back and you open it up. Now I basically opened up the system, okay? Now I'm gonna just slide out the handgun, but it's locked in the front. That's what makes it so stable. It does not move at all inside the body. There is actually zero movement, even though I've already opened this up, I can't move it. It's locked inside. So now I have two locks over here that I have to press down. And once I press it down, it just slides out. And now I have my handgun that has the trigger guard on the top is open up because each guy's have a different kind of back sights and rear sights on their, on their handgun. So you just take it off, this piece, and now it's just stayed on that. So it's a very simple system. I make absolutely no changes to the handgun itself. Nothing changes, and that's the way we do it. So it's a simple thing. It takes about two seconds to put it in and out, and your accuracy jumps, and it costs almost nothing. So we think it's gonna be a big hit. It's coming out in May of this year. It will, the first ones will hit uh, the US market. We also have an option on the Micaroni that we have what we call a stabilizer. Now this stabilizer over here bypasses the SBR problem with the stock, the short build rifle. This one as well also folds. So now we have uh, the Micaroni option with the stabilizer allowing me to bypass the SBR. So we've been working on that as well. We have a little guard here that is now cannot take a magazine, but it still has the trigger. And we have another option that this is uh, on uh, an angle 
uh, like uh, like a, those triangles, I'm sorry, about the angle, 45 degrees. And with that 45 degrees, it also bypasses the ATF. So you're, you're good to go. No, you don't need any stamps, any regulations, no bureau bureaucratic stuff, and you can go. So this is our new toys that were coming out in May. By the end of the year, we should have another five other types of Micaronis with the Springfield, the 9, 1911, all types of handguns that we're going to be bringing out. And uh, this is our new baby. Hey guys, I want to show you guys uh, our new reflex sight. It's called the MH1 from Hartman. Uh, we try to build the ultimate reflex sight. Basically, when you look at reflex sights, what is their job? Basically, it's supposed to make our life easier when we're shooting. Instead of having a back and front sight, you only have one red dot, so you become a faster shooter. We also wanted to make you a better shooter. In the IDF, we had a problem that we brought in reflex sights into the IDF over the last 25 years. And every time we brought in a reflex sight, it did not improve our accuracy. It made us faster, but not better. We try to make a sight that does that as well. Now, what did we do in the sight that's so different? When you look at the sights for the last 20, 30 years, all the great companies, Trigicon, Endpoint, EOTech, you'll see that basically they're all the same. There's a window, there's a dot, and you shoot. Basically, that's what it is. We wanted to bring the sight to the 21st century. How did we do that? We said, well, we'll take technology that already exists. We're the only side in the world that has actual a USB port that I can actually plug in a portable battery. I can take a, a portable battery and just slide in the USB very simply. I put it in and now I am actually recharging the site. I can be driving to the range. I can pull out the cable out of my telephone, plug it into my site and I'm charging it. It's the only rechargeable reflex site in the world. It also has a backup CR123 battery that's put on the side of the site against the recoil and it only kicks in when the rechargeable battery is done. So one after the other extends battery life. So you can actually have a site with no battery in it and you can still have a re reticle and shoot with it. So that's kind of cool. Now because I put in a USB port I said I'm going to have to use that, and I'll talk about that later on. Another cool thing that we did, we made the window the largest window in the market. A lot of people in America feel that the window size is not critical because you shoot with two eyes open. I humbly disagree. There are many scenarios that you shoot with only one eye. One, when you're shooting at long range. Two, when you're shooting at small targets. Three when you're left eye dominant. 15% of the world are right hand strong, left eye dominant. And four, and the most important, at night when you're shooting in the infantry, you have night scopes that you put behind the sight, okay? Now, when you put a night scope behind the sight, your left eye, your two eyes open, is not relevant anymore. Your field of view is, is dependent on only one factor, size of the window. The smaller the window, the smaller the size. And at night, that's critical, but you're, you're shooting a lot at short ranges at night, so the field of view is critical. You can go into a room and not be able to see the guy on the right or on the left. So we, that's the reason we made the biggest window. We're also the only site in the world that knows when you're shooting. When the site is shooting, it's on. When the site is not shooting, it's off. How do we accomplish that? We put two motion sensors inside the site, one on the horizontal, and one when it's on tilt. So there's a very, very sensitive ref, uh, motion sensor that when you are horizontal, it'll never turn off. It knows, you, can, you cannot be steady enough to make it fall asleep. If I put it on a table, it'll fall asleep. But if I put it on a gun, it won't. Now when the sight goes down, after X amount of seconds that we decide, it will go to sleep. And then when you shake it, it doesn't turn on. You hit a bumpy road, it doesn't turn on. You're running, it doesn't turn on. But when you pick it up over the 30 degree angle on X, Y or on Z axles, it turns on. So when you make a shooting motion, it's on. 
When you do not make a shooting motion, it stays off. So you never have to turn off the sight, ever. When you're done, it's done. When you're ready to go, it, it's ready to go. Another cool thing that we did, we built the only remote control reflex sight in the world. You actually put this belt, PTT push to transmit cable, okay? Push to transmit cable that has infrared laser inside. You attach this to the forward grip of the weapon and by pressing a button on the right or on the left, because it's ambidextrous, you actually activate the sight and change brightness levels without having to disengage your hand during battle. What happens? A lot of times, you guys probably know this, when you walk, when you clean a room, you're in darkness. So you want the brightness level to be low. When you go outside of the door and then you're underneath the sun, you have to in increase your brightness. So you can't tell the enemy, time out, and start playing with the activation buttons. So by having the PTT in your forward grip, you're able to change brightness levels without disengaging my hand from the weapon. That's another cool thing that we did. Another kind of crazy stuff that we did here, when we put on activation buttons, you got four options. You can put them on the left, on the top, on the right, or on the rear. Almost everybody puts it on the left. I think it's because it's easier to get to. I dislike that because 89% of the world are right-handed people. That means the sight is rubbing against my gear. I don't want the left side of my sight to have anything. Even the adapter, we move to the right side, okay? So the reason we didn't want anything here, we didn't want it to turn on by accident or turn off by accident. So that's what we did. So we decided not to put it on the left, not to put it on the top because you don't know what you're pressing, not to put it on the right because it's uncomfortable, to put it in the rear for both right and left-handed shooters. The problem with that is, and this is a weakness of the rear panel, that if I put a magnifier here, or if I put night vision here, it's tough to get to the buttons. So what do we do? We actually changed the angle of the buttons, and we put them at a 20 degree angle, and we move the activation buttons to the left and to the right. Now, even if I have a magnifier or a night vision, and I'm wearing gloves, I have access to the buttons because of the angle that we did. So we took the only weakness that a rear panel had, and we got rid of it. Inside the site, we also put a motion sensor, uh, I'm sorry, we also put in a memory chip that allows the site to remember what brightness level it was on before it went to sleep. There are five brightness levels for day, and there's also five brightness levels for night. But the coolest thing we did, and we have to move over a little bit, is what we call our user interface. We built a site that you can actually plug in the site into the computer, and I can now change the entire functions of the sites. I can do whatever I want. Instead of the, the manufacturer, me, deciding for you, the user, what the site can do, you decide for the site what you want it to do. So you customize your own site. So I can change brightness levels. I can change sleep modes. I can change motion sensors. I can change the PTT. I can know how many battery life I have left. I can change all the brightness levels. I can change the low battery indicators. The site, when there's two hours left, the, the light blinks five times, the reticle blinks. And then every 10 minutes, it blinks faster and faster and faster, telling me, charge me, change me, charge me, change me. Those two hours and the interval of 10 minutes, you can change those as well. So you can make it whatever you want. So you actually make it your own site. Because everyone has their own preferences and they like their own certain things. So I said, you know what, we're in 2016, let's make sites. Let's make a site that you can do whatever you want with it. Well, that's the MH1. We hope it's gonna be coming out in April. So very soon you guys are going to start seeing in the market. The MSRP for the site is $650. The, the map is about $590. That's what you're going to see it in stores. So it's obviously mill standard, filled with nitrogen. You can kill it. Very, very strong. And uh, what you're going to see, it improves your accuracy. But that's uh, real good. Thank you guys for your time, and we'll talk later.